Well, we're winding down on this chuck wagon build, but the owner brought up one thing he would like to change. So I need to do that as my final project on this chuck wagon. Well, along the way, I have shared some of these pictures of the progress to the owner of the chuck wagon. And he stopped and said, you know, is this suitable for horses? I thought you didn't have any horses. I thought this was going to be a four-wheeler. Well, he has a friend who has horses. So, as a last-minute change, I need to build a full-size tongue that will accommodate horses for this chuck wagon. So, if the time ever arises, he can put it in a parade. Well, I do have some rough stock in tongue blanks and they aren't really very finely finished. Generally, they're about a 4x4 four four on the butt end and they are tapered down to 2.5 square on the tip. But the finish isn't very nice, so I like to clean them up. So for about the first two feet of this on the butt end, I'm going to plane it down to 3.5 inches square right in there close. And then by using my planer, I can, I can plane square for two feet and then I can gradually scale up the table on this and therefore plane a taper on this tongue. Well, since I already built a short stub tongue for this wagon, I have the tongue hounds already patterned out, so I can use those same patterns to make this full-size tongue.
Well, there is a little iron strap that is a wear strap that some of you who are familiar with wagons have brought up and questioned whether I was going to include this little wear plate. Well, inside each of the standards, there should be a little wear plate, and you can see here where there was wear on the old irons of the standard irons. So I need to put this little plate in there, so as the box kind of shimmies in in the undercarriage or on these bolsters while it's being driven, these plates kind of help prevent gouging the box sides. Well the final step in this whole build is to take a paintbrush and touch up all the rivet heads and nuts and bolt heads and all that. Kind of do the final touch up. So it's been a long process. I do appreciate you following along. I have intentionally tried to show every little detail of how these go together. How you can take an old melted down undercarriage and put it back to a wagon that is parade quality and ready to go back to use. So once again, appreciate you following along. Thanks for watching. On a side note, for the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be out of the shop. Local farmers are having a tough time finding drivers for harvest, and corn harvest for the silage for feedlots is about to begin next week. So I'm going to go help out drive corn truck for this process. So I might post some other videos. I have some that aren't really related to the shop specifically, but they are other projects that I do out at our little piece of ground and around town here. So I might just include some of those. I'm contemplating putting these on a second channel, uh, kind, of my, kind of my after work projects. We'll see how it goes. So I appreciate your understanding. We'll see you after I get back after corn harvest. Once again, thanks for watching.